What's up guys, I'm Andrew with Nautilus Spearfishing and today uh, we're going to be talking about some reels. I had a request from one of our viewers. He's like, dude, uh, I would like you to see if you can do a review on the Pathos reels. Uh, horizontal I think it was, but I might as well just do them all. So, uh, so check it out. These are the Pathos reels. This is the Pathos vertical reel, uh, the 35 meter horizontal and the 50 meter horizontal. We will start over here with the weird looking one, which is the vertical reel. So this reel right here mounts pretty easily uh, to your patho spear guns. It goes right on the mounting bracket. You would remove the two screws on the mounting bracket, take it off, and it slides right in. And you'll notice it already has the two pre-cut holes. You must replace the screws. You can't use the factory ones. The kit comes with two screws. Use these because they're a little longer. And that way they catch the thread inside the spear gun, okay? The vertical reel, the line would pass through here. And then this, um, this drag, it's not really a drag knob, it's more like a drag lever. Uh, the line would run through here, in here, and then you would top it off over here. In the end, you would make a knot, and that's where your line uh, goes based off in. Don't forget to put the spring back in the same position, and then you would put your spring back in there. This is not a drag system. This is a, this is a tensioner. So this is not meant to be used as your drag. This is to make sure your shooting line stays taut, and then when a fish takes off, it automatically free spools, okay? The uh, roller here is that's where you're gonna run your line out of. That way the line's sitting nice and close to the spear gun. Here's your, dry, uh, your, your lever. So this is when you wanna wind it up, you can use it like this. When you're not using it, you can put it back in and tuck it in so it's nice and streamlined. This here keeps the, uh, the line tight on the reel so it doesn't bird nest on you, which is a pretty cool feature. It's held in by this spring uh, right there. So it's a pretty sweet reel. When you go to wind this reel, please guys be very conscientious of it. You always want to wind it like this. Like if the reel's not like this, like this. This reel's meant to be winded with the gun upside down and you would wind it like if it was a, uh, uh, you know, like a deep drop reel for like fishing. And you would just wind it like this. Make sure the drag is open. Why? Because if you would wind it the other way and it pulls, it actually will get stuck because uh, of the drag knob, okay? So if you do it in this fashion, when a fish takes off, it automatically free spools. So this is a pretty cool reel. Let's talk about the horizontal ones. The horizontal reels, very similar to the vertical, they do the same thing, but they look a little different and they work a little different. This is the 35 meter. Here you have your handle, here's your uh, drag knob, okay? And here's the housing for the, uh, for the reel. It mounts the same way. You would have to pop that screw out, undo the drag lever, take it all out, pop the screws in and then put it all back together again. You have a little um, little roller here, that's where the line would go out of. And inside, I don't know if you guys can see in there, there's a little uh, little hole there. That's where you would actually hook up your, uh, uh, your reel line to, okay? That's where it would anchor off of, right there. All right, and this is a cute little, little reel. This would go really nice on maybe a little reef gun, like a 90, an 80 centimeter gun, something like that. Now for the bigger guns, you obviously want to use a bigger reel so it has more capacity. Very similar design. The lever doesn't come out like it, like it does on this one. It has your traditional uh, little knob here that articulates there. You got your knob. Same process to mount it. You would pop this off, uh, hook up the housing, and then put the reel back inside. Has the roller just like the little one. This drag knob is meant to do basically the same thing that the vertical one does. So. When a fish free, uh, when a fish takes off, it also free spool and disengages. The way you wind this reel, uh, from my experience, is basically you would have your gun sideways like this, and you would wind it like that. So when it goes counterclockwise, uh, it doesn't get stuck um, stuck on there. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. The uh, difference between the horizontal and the vertical is mostly the shaping. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, liking the traditional horizontal for many years. Me, personally, I'm starting to like the vertical reels a little more. You can pack up a little more line and they're not, um, they may hang lower, you know, than the uh, horizontal if you put them upside down next to each other. But the profile on the horizontal reel is usually much bigger and bigger going uh, horizontally, obviously. And I've actually really started to like the uh, vertical reels just because you can put a lot of capacity line and it's not very bulky. Um, but they're both great. They'll both get the job done. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got more coming. Uh, peace out. Love you guys. Till the next one.